we have filed term limits bills uh, ever since we got here. I, I think, if, if my memory is correct, I think the first bill that I sponsored, co-sponsored, was a term limits bill. I'm, I have to confess, I'm not exactly sure what the magic number is, but I do believe the principle is the right one. And I think this is a healthy debate because we all know that we're living in unprecedented times. We're only 247 years into this grand experiment in self-governance. And as a constitutional law attorney, I spent my career there before I came to Congress, I think a lot about what the founders intended. It would be composed of citizen legislators, not professional politicians, career politicians, and they would come to Washington and serve for a period of years, and then they would go back to their real life. They would go back to the blacksmith shop or the farm or the law practice or whatever. Um, that has become an idea of the past, and I think it's hurt the institution. The American people are in favor of the concept, and here's why, in short summary. It prevents people in power from becoming too powerful. That's the beauty of our republic, a representative government, a government of the people, by the people, for the people, and their duly elected representatives, and also, it better reflects the will of the people, because then you do allow them uh, to bring in new people, new ideas, fresh ideas. These are desperate times, desperate quiet times call for desperate measures, and if we're going to restore the people's trust in the institution of Congress and the government itself, maybe the time has come for term limits. I think that's healthy, I think it's good. And at the end of the day, I think ultimately it will help us restore trust in this institution.